Hello my beautiful internet friends. I had big plans for different videos today and then I woke up with a piercing migraine that has temporarily let up a little bit. But I wanted to share with you guys what has helped me to survive migraines. You guys don't know, um, I have chronic migraines, which means that I get them usually more than 15 days a month. I've spent years kind of trying to figure out how to manage them. And I know so many of you deal with migraines or have dealt with migraines. There are a million videos out there about how to, you know, avoid migraine triggers or food triggers or stuff like that. But this is gonna be a little bit different. This is how I have mentally learned to survive migraines. A few years ago, when I was in the midst of going to the Mayo Clinic to try to figure out what was causing this, and my life was basically every day or every other day being in bed for hours or fighting off like really, really bad pain and nausea and dizziness um, and just living in doctor's offices, I was kind of losing my mind and I needed to find a way to deal. And so I read a book called ACT Therapy, I think it's called Acceptance and Commitment Therapy and it honestly changed my life. Essentially, this is what it taught me. I filmed this video a couple hours ago, kind of when it was starting to really hit and really get bad and this is something that has helped me get through. Hello, my beautiful internet friends. I uh, woke up this morning with a migraine that has gotten worse by the minute and I have done um, all the things to try to make it better right and it's just getting worse and worse and before I turn off all lights and sounds and try to sleep I did want to share one thing with you guys real quick because it's something that I have found to be really important and kind of life-changing for me I've dealt with chronic migraines for years now um, I have a QRI malformation necks really screwed up and I get migraines a lot. Waking up with them is kind of the worst because I know that the day is like gone for the most part. And uh, I woke up and I did all the things that I am supposed to do, right? It literally just made it worse. I felt like getting worse and worse by the minute. And in those moments, I feel like I'm at, like, at a crossroads. You know, like there's, there's two choices. And if you guys deal with any kind of pain or migraines or anything like this, I think you'll know what I mean. That like you can feel that frustration mounting, just wanting to cry or sob or scream or just disappear or go numb or punch a wall or whatever. Being like, I, I don't want to feel like this. Like I hate being in pain. I had things I wanted to accomplish today. Like I want to be a, I want to be a functional human being. Like I had a whole day here planned. Why is this happening? And what's wrong with my body? And why can't I fix it? And just this internal dialogue of like a lot of why questions and a lot of anger and a lot of frustration. And there's nothing wrong with anger and frustration. Those are emotions that need to be felt and expressed. But I've dealt with all of this this long. I've realized that there's another path to take too. And if instead of fighting against it and being like, no, I'm going to like try to push through it. I'm going to try to like, you know, get stuff done anyways, even though I know that like my body is, is breaking down and I have to rest. I have to take care of myself. It just gets worse, even if it's just the mental like anger, frustration, fighting against it, wishing this wasn't the case right now. Like just, uh, it gets worse. It takes longer to heal. But if I take the second path and accept reality if i accept what is the case right now and realize that you know what right now i have a migraine it is getting worse it is getting bad and there's nothing that i can do that's in my power right now to stop that if i just literally relax into it and be like you know what i'm going to show compassion to myself and gentleness to myself and my body and just basically let it be things get a lot better a lot faster it's not like my migraine disappears it's still there. That one change of accepting things, like living in that acceptance, but knowing that it's not gonna last forever changed things for me when I realized that. And so I start to feel like all those emotions and all that anger, if I can take the second path, knowing that I've done what's in my power, what's in my control, and all I can do right now is respect where my body's at and show it gentleness and compassion and take care of it. Things get better a lot faster. And again, I'm not saying not to experience anger, not to feel it, definitely. I think that's an important part of being a human, but I've generally found that these are not the moments for that because it only gets worse. I don't know if this will help anyone else out there, but especially when dealing with pain, if you can accept where things are right now, knowing you've done what you can, things have really shifted for me and it changes my mindset and it changes how my body responds to it too. So 
I just wanted to share that when I was in like the middle of this. I hope some of that made sense. And I'm gonna choose the second path today and respect where my body's at, accept it and let it run its course because there's nothing I can do about it anyways. For me, I think that same principle of accepting where we are on any given day, not with like a, a giving up, like accepting it, like, oh, this is forever and I'm just giving up, but accepting ourselves where we are is so powerful and really shifted my perspective on so many things. Really changed how I thought about my mental health too because I spent basically a solid four years hating myself for not being better after a lot of the trauma that I went through. Every day I felt like you should, you should be better by now. You should be in a different place. And it wasn't until I started just simply accepting that this is where I am right now and that's okay that I could actually start to get better. And I feel like that definitely has helped me with migraines too. When I am able to accept all of the pain and the discomfort as what it is, not welcome it, not become friends with it, but simply realize that this is what it is right now and that's okay. This is where I am right now and that's okay. Instead of constantly fighting against it, instead of constantly telling myself it should be different, I should be in a different place, I should be feeling better, or all the why questions. Why is this happening to me? Why am I not feeling better? Why did this have to happen today? Things like that. Things really shifted for me and I wanted to share that with you guys today because that one simple shift in perspective has changed so much for me and brought me so much peace. I'm not fighting against myself all the time and I can actually show myself compassion and love and care and gentleness. And when I can do that, I can start to accept care and help and compassion and love from other people too. So along with all of the techniques that I've learned for preventing migraines and physically dealing with them and avoiding the triggers for them and all of that stuff, how I actually survive migraines really has to do with the mindset that I have. Yeah, and uh, on the days when I can apply that, instead of being in a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, and angry at the world, mad at the world, tense, where that tension then increases the pain I'm in, it makes it last longer. I can just accept it. I'm in a lot of pain still, in a lot of discomfort still, but my mind is at rest, and I feel like that makes it much less of a wasted day. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I feel like migraine days are like ghosted days where you just don't exist or don't want to exist and that that entire day is just gone. Like it's just wiped off the calendar, wiped off the map because there is nothing you can do except try to make it go away or focus on getting better or just relax into the reality of what is happening. Trying to make peace with it is one thing that has helped me feel like I am not wasting these days. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm gonna get back to resting because I feel it, feel it there still. And uh, what I need to do is take care of that right now. But I'm thinking of you guys, thankful for you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Have her from the sky, all about it, down the river, high tide.